Kevin Blackstone now, Washington Post sports columnist, professor of journalism at the University of Maryland. Kevin, thank you. Major League Baseball making a big statement here. Were you surprised they took it? No, I wasn't surprised um, because, Shep, if we just look at recent history, we can look at your state, your university, um, Ole Miss, which, uh, you know, last January, they were told by the NCAA um, and other states like them that they would no longer be able to host NCAA events as long as the Confederate banner was, was flying. By September, after 126 years in Mississippi, that banner came down, and now Mississippi is back in the fold to host NCAA um, events. And, you know, baseball could look to the NBA, which took a similar stance on its all-star game in, in North Carolina one year, in 2017, when it pulled it from being there over the, the so-called bathroom bill. So these have been successful boycotts in the past. There's a long history of them. And I was not at all surprised that Major League Baseball took this bold step. Your point is well taken and welcome. I will add that state flag hadn't even flown over the flagship university's campus for years because that banner was in it. It finally got changed. On another matter, Stacey Abrams and both of Georgia's senators argue that boycotts actually hurt the very people the law suppresses. Is that point fair? Sure, that point's fair. I mean, I'm sure that there are businesses in, um, in the city of Atlanta that are looking forward to uh, that particular game being there and the revenue that it can generate. But this isn't just about, you know, one weekend. This isn't just about one game. This is about many, many years. This is about voting rights. This is about the foundation of democracy. And as you just laid out brilliantly, um, going through that 95-page uh, bill that, that Governor Kemp signed, there are a lot of problems in there that strike at the heart of voter suppression in this country. And, you know, I will say this, Georgia is not alone, and there are some other states that are going to have to suffer these same sorts of, of, of boycotts, but it's for the good. It's for the long term. It's not for the short term. Yeah, Kevin, short on time, but how much pressure now on other leagues and organizations to pull their businesses, or does this give them cover to do so? Um, there will be a lot of pressure. This is not, you know, this is not covered to do so, right? This is a lot of pressure to go ahead and do this. And I would even point out that HBCUs in the city of Atlanta mm -hmm. and throughout the South who hold their Battle of the Bands in Atlanta, sponsored yep. by Honda, might want to do this, this as well. Yep, I bet I'm sure they're listening. <laughs> Kevin Blackstone, great to see you. Thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.